have to let Speedy Nelson's horse cut out for him this evening. Caprice Coleman did not see that one coming. Good night! Coleman with a shoulder block, down goes Cross. Where did Coleman get that from? Oh dear. Section 301 is emptying out. Moved so by Jason Cross lands on his feet. Oh, and he sit up side down into the ring barricade. Bragging rights. The feud between two of the most amazing athletes I've ever really witnessed through my life. Lateral press on the ramp. One pin attempt on the ramp. Not enough for that elusive three count. Oh, and I, uh, that's all Spade Spade here. A nut shot, all right? Ooh, Caprice Coleman went head first of that barrier. Oh, and a baseball slide hitting Coleman right in the back of that head. Boy, this is grim. Only. We're not gonna put the police coming away this early. This man, the, uh, the show stopping, crowd pumping, you know the rest. Yeah, From like T Town, North Carolina. Been so charismatic. One of the most popular athletes in Wildside. Caprice Coleman can certainly do it all. Cross in the ring. Coleman up and over. Lee Cross by Jason Cross. He flipped by. Whoa, wait a minute. Coleman lands on his feet there. Cross. Coleman seems to be to the outside. And of course, in Jason Cross's corner, there's nothing less than sweet dreams. The brother of Chris Cole, oh, super drop kick. Gets Cross right on the temple. Cross goes down in a heap. Sweet dreams in the corner of Jason Cross is not good, at, good news at all for Caprice Coleman. Brothers, they may be. Yeah, the camera stand goes Jason Cross head first. We know sweet dreams turned his back for money at Christmas Chaos 2001 and joined the NWA Elite. But he didn't get him in a favorable position. He didn't bring him to the top of his game. All he has been since becoming part of the NWA Elite is a lackey, a yes man, a go boy for Jeff G. Bailey. And somewhere deep in the back of his mind, does he really like that? Uh-oh. Oh, into our announce position here. Cross takes a header right into the broadcast booth. Into our announce booth right in, and well, they're coming up in the booth. Oh, good night. They're coming up in the booth. Damn it, I hate calling Falls Count anywhere matches. This is not promising at all. No, it isn't. No matter who you are. Jason Cross's head goes hard. I think Cross is able to block half of that. Then oh. Cross didn't, didn't block that. Hey, go, hey guys, the cords don't stretch that far. Good God! Good heavens! Jason Cross with the headset. How much is that dog in the window? Long stylings of Caprice Coleman and the battered body of Jason Cross. Are your headphones toast as well? Uh, with our Millennium skyrocket of a budget, I'm surprised we still haven't announced it left. Let's come to this. Things seem to be going the way of Caprice Coleman. That the tide could turn at any possible second. We're dealing with somebody as talented as Jason Cross. Who is the idiot who signed this false count anywhere? Thing? I think he deserves a beating too. Coleman and Jason Cross. I mean, this is perhaps one of the most violent feuds to come down the bike since, well, since Iceberg and Tanks. Oh, my. The Bruce Coleman and Jason Cross are tearing each other limb from limb in this Falls Count Anywhere match. You are watching Hardcore Hell 2002 oh. leg drop on the floor by Caprice Ice Coleman. Cross is in dire, dire shape. Speedy Nelson in to make a pin attempt. There it goes. That's still not enough for that three count. Rolling on the outside, Caprice Coleman on the right hand on to Jason Cross. Cross comes back with a kick to the midsection. Jason Cross in control, slamming the head of Caprice Coleman into the corner post. We're rolling back out in front of us here. In front of the hard camp position, big kick to the side of the head. Swift by Jason Cross, cold cocking, Caprice Coleman, what a chair shot! Oh, God! And Jason
Mason Cross and Caprice Coleman going backstage. I know Falls kind of anywhere. I, I, I kind of wanted to see it, you know? It looks like furniture's being moved. Whoa, good night, nurse! Jason Cross goes flying down the ramp. Ditto Speedy Nelson. Where's, where's Coleman? Where the hell is Caprice Coleman? There he is! On the ramp! Cross cover Coleman. Oh, another leg drop. These two men are putting their bodies on the line to settle this score. Oh, ho, ho, ho. rolling leg drop on the chair by Jason Cross. I think that's it for Coleman. No! Coleman, then, not just getting a shoulder, he's actually able to kick out. Obviously, Coleman is bringing his A game both on offense and defense here this evening. Everybody's bringing their A game, Stephen. It's hardcore hell. Wait a minute, no! Jason Crosley, he's going for the brain buster. He gets the signal. Coleman rolls him up, two count only. Actually, a clever pin attempt from Coleman. Coleman might be going for the two town trauma there. Moves to the midsection, sunset flip on the outside. I've never seen anything like this in my life, Steve. And sunset flip by Cross! I mean, literally, we're talking about like 75% of the match has taken place in front of the ring. Most of these guys have done this many, a lot of professional wrestlers around the world have not done this many pin attempts in a ring. These guys are doing it on the floor. A backslide from Cross, not enough to pin Coleman's shoulders down for three. I think Speedy Nelson's got splitters in his hand. Oh my goodness, T-Town Trauma on the floor! But who's more traumatized, Coleman or Cross? That maneuver on that hardwood floor certainly takes an impact, even offensively. Well, model Jason Cross is in a world of hurt. His nose is busted. Caprice Coleman going to the lateral press. Coleman hooks the leg. Two count only. I really thought that was going to be it. After that devastating maneuver, I don't know where in the hell the role model found it within him to kick out, but he did. Apparently, there's more where that came from. From both of these guys tend to dust things off that we had no idea any human being could possibly do. They do it week in and week out. But somehow the hatred that they have for each other sometimes take, take things on over. And Coleman, he is heading north. Once again, Cross takes Coleman off his perch. These guys are not going to be able to go too much longer. Because we say that every week, and they always do. Damn. That is because this is your number one professional wrestling alternative. This is NWA Wild Side, and that's just how we grow. Right here by the Priest Coleman. Jason Cross is rocking. He's reeling. Coleman has him hooked for a chancery. Looked like he was going for a tornado DDT. Cross blocking with a counter grabbing the arm. He's got Coleman hooked. Like and a roll through by the role model Jason Cross hanging on again. And another, but wait a minute, counter there by Caprice Coleman. Counter by Cross. The role model got him. DDT to the back. Of the roll of the dice by the role model Jason Cross. Can Cross cover Coleman? He's facing the wrong way. The longer he waits, the better chance that Coleman gets more breath in his body and he gets a shoulder up, albeit just barely in the nick of time. Coleman is digging down deep, and I think Cross is as well. Now getting on the case of Sweet Dreams. The brother of Caprice Coleman, taking his own brother's neck across that second rope. Ooh! That was a miscalculation. Miscalculation and a half. Sweet Dreams just got a foot right in the mush. Cross Jason Cross is that. hanging on. He is hanging on, Caprice Coleman. Coming up into a head scissors. It's just not Sweet Dreams, you know? Sling shots himself on the Sweet Dreams and a little assist from Jason Cross there. Looks like these two brothers having a bit of a tete a tete. Here goes Cross, flying through the air, with in fact the greatest of ease onto the now battered body of Sweet Dreams. Works crew moonsault on the Sweet Dreams. 
crowd is behind Capri Size. Coleman at hell, who wouldn't be? Coleman gathering his wits. Oh, oh, double axe handle on the back of Cross. And that was with authority. Uh -uh, indeed, right there. And he did, they were diving over his own brother, Sweet Dreams, in the attempt. And once again, all activities in the match tend out to be in the front of the ring. We really need this wrestling ring to get against the way. Well, this balls count anywhere, match. It doesn't matter. Yeah, good point. Bring us back to reality. Thank you, Dan. The Dragon Wilson. Hardcore Hell 2002 continues on unabated. As these two athletes. Uh oh, we've seen this before. Oh, dear. Double springboard midair collision. Damn it, nobody ever wins with that. Somebody left up in the upper end on the but I had no idea who that is. The fans breaking out in a hardcore hell chant. This is indeed the premier event at NWA Wildside. Six every, years every, running strong. Look at this, everybody standing. Two minutes ago, we were. From Power Slam by Jason Cross, the role model. Now he's going to take it up top. This is where he excels. This is where Jason Cross has made his namesake for his un ability. Un ability to avoid shooting storm like drop. You can just so easily land on your own head if he's not really careful. I think that's it. That's it. No! Coleman kicks out! The priest Coleman, a man of many gifts. Petey Nelson made that two count. Caprice Coleman kicked out of the shooting star. That drop and Jason Cross can't believe it. Petey Nelson can't believe it. A whole crowd, a sellout crowd here at the NCW Arena couldn't believe it. Cross is beside himself that the most amazing maneuver in his arsenal was not enough to put away Coleman. shot. Perhaps that's it? No! Both of these guys have dusted off the best that they've got. The best that they've got. And still, that three count, nowhere in sight. Come dangerously close, but we ain't there yet. My God, what's it gonna take? I think I just found out. Sweet Dreams going for a chair. This perhaps could be the equalizer. It's been a dead heat, a complete dead heat. Even right down the middle, you could not favor this match for any man. If you're scoring on points, we did that even. We're in the way. Sweet Dreams has a chair. The Bruce Coleman reverses. Coleman gets cut right in the head. Which he gets cut right in the head. Dragon suplex with a bridge. That's what it took. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Falls Count Anywhere match, the role model, Jason Cross. Gracefully. Not bad enough, he got screwed. That's true. Caprice Coleman, his own brother, Sweet Dreams. Looks like Sweet Dreams is not particularly eager in getting involved in beating up his brother anymore. Whoa! Sweet Dreams! Blocky Jeff Bailey, Adam Jacob, and Jason Cross. Caprice Coleman has his brother back. Sometimes family members make mistakes. Sometimes they do things that they regret. But all the time, in the end, family is family and blood will always run thicker than the wallet of the NWA elite.